hello this evening hocus pocus fans i'm your host anika chung welcome to my channel the samson sisters are back in hocus pocus 2 starring bet miller sarah jessica parker and kathy and jimmy 29 years ago the samson sisters were defeated by max danny allison and zachary binks the cat on hollow's ground gone but just waiting for their revenge wreaking havoc in modern day salem legend has it on the 16th birthday a witch gains her powers Becca, who has interest in witchcraft, receives a black flame candle as a gift. She and Izzy are unaware that they actually resurrected the Samson sisters during her birthday ritual in the Forbidden Woods, which was an important domain for witches of Salem. The spark and the flame could have actually been a result of Becca tapping into her power of the woods and igniting the power within her. Now it's up to her and Izzy to stop the child-hungry witches on terrorizing the world. Did Hocus Pocus 2 put a spell on us? So let's hop our broomsticks and talk about it. I've been a fan of the first movie. I watch it every Halloween. It's part of tradition. It was awesome seeing the Samson sisters again reunited, Billy Butcherson, and new additional characters such as Gilbert, Becca, Izzy, and Mother Witch. One of my favorite scenes was definitely the opening, seeing the teen version of the Sands and Sisters, especially Winnie driving the townspeople crazy in Salem, escaping in the Forbidden Forest, encountering Mother Witch. Luckily, their lives were spared and they were given the Book of Spells. This backstory had potential of being longer. I want to see how the sisters gained their powers and learn more about this Mother Witch. The girl who played teen Winifred, seriously, she had big shoes to fill and she nailed the character to the T, especially Winifred's mannerisms. I was really impressed. There is one more thing I definitely gotta say. Mother Witch as a raven, she looks so cool soaring in the sky and I liked her transition as she's soaring down and then changing into human. That was actually pretty cool. I gotta say that. <laughs> I enjoyed the movie. It was funny, entertaining, very nostalgic. Given a homage to the original film, the sisters look the same. They haven't aged in centuries. I love their introduction when Winifred said, Lock up your children, Salem! Yes, we're back! <laughs> their personalities are still the same, especially Mary and Sarah. I did enjoy the musical numbers, but I did notice several Easter eggs in this film. Skeleton High School, the name, dates back to the founding of Salem 300 years ago. Pastor Samuel Skeleton, who ran the first church of Salem, and Come Little Children's song, which mother sang in the first Forbidden Forest, and Sarah was actually drawn to the song as a kid and now sings it to manipulate children. My man Gilbert, he knew what he was doing from the beginning. I think, personally, he didn't mind having the Samson sisters back. This brought excitement to him, and he stayed 10 steps ahead by making another black flame candle in case something goes wrong. Although this is not the same as the original, but it's definitely expanded the coven of emerging witches such as Becca, Izzy, and possibly Gilbert. <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> you know, Winifred and Becca are not so different from each other. The parallels between them could have been the first hint toward Becca's twist. In a flashback to Salem with the young Sanderson sisters, it is revealed on Winifred's 16th birthday that she is a witch, just as Becca later learns later in the film. Both characters also learn their identity and encounter the book in the same spot, previously referred to as the Forbidden Wood. Winifred learned of her power and received the book from the witch mother in the same spot where Becca and Izzy performed the birthday ritual. Witch Mother explains that the Forbidden Woods was where the witches were the most powerful, so it's connected why Becca and Winifred both ended up there on their most important birthdays. I also forgot to mention, Large Raven, who is Witch Mother, is also flying behind Becca as she rode through Salem watching over her, providing a potential hint that she could be the next powerful witch in Salem. You never know. <laughs> Now to some parts of the movie that was kind of so so for me. Well, for instance, the visual effects could have been better. I would love to see them flying through downtown Salem, interacting with the townspeople, you know, freaking them out. Actually make them believe that, oh my gosh, the Sanderson sisters are here. Like that would have been so hilarious. We have talented CGI and visual effects people that could actually make that happen. That's just my two cents. Or at least flying in the moon. <laughs> As for filming locations, Rhode Island is a beautiful place never been there seen videos but i wish they would film the sequel in salem they have some great locations too unfortunately max dan and allison were not in this film but i hope they make a cameo in the next one as for the final act the ending had a little sadness with whitney's sisters disappearing 
and seeing the expression on her face, it was the weakest part of the film. At least Becca helped Winnie to reunite with her sisters again because she realized that the coven is very important. The ending could have been better with Winnie saying we'll be back and doing that historical laugh. That would have been awesome. At least we know there's a possibility of a Hocus Pocus 3. Overall, I had a great time watching this film. Good memories. I think Whitney Peak and Melissa Escobedo were great. Although Hocus Pocus 2 may not get the cult classic status like the original, but it expanded the Hocus Pocus coven with new witches in a magical mystical movie added this Halloween. A maka 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 say that. Overall, I give Hocus Pocus 2 3 out of 5 stars. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture movie reviews. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. Alright guys, I'll see you next time in the pictures. Have a fantastic Halloween evening. Sorry guys, I don't have my clapboard. It's broken. <laughs> Later guys!